Uh, visual, incorporating film, TV and theatre. The Short Timers, an autobiographical novel by United States Marine Gustav Hasford. Uh, so, Dave Bill. Full Mill Jacket. Yeah. Question two. Which BAFTA winning British film and television actress narrates The Secret Life of the Zoo? Lee. Joanna Lumley. Curtis. No. Ashton. Rebecca Front. Tony. Judy Dench. Sam. Storms. Fraser. Olivia Colman. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a guess! It's, it's, it's these two have watched together. He's not watched it. The conversation we had earlier is coming true for you now. <laughs> Question four. I'm looking at someone here. Set in the Brewster family home, which 1939 play was made into a 1944 film starring Cary Grant? Oh. Tell me. Uh, I think all this. Yeah, that's the person I was looking at. We're the person you're looking at, yes. Carry on. Question five. Inspired by his affair with Joan Bakewell, the 70s play. Tony. How Pinter the Trail. Yeah. Oh! He's good on those, he's good on those, isn't he? Question six. Paul Maguire is credited with writing the theme music to which TV quiz show in the late 1980s. Fat Magic. Nope. No. Andy. Blockbusters. No. Tony. Um, 15 to 1. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Patrick. <laughs> Patrick for Tony. Cool. Yes! Uh, that was a <laughs> That's not what you say, well, that's a cool guess. So I was going to say blockbusters. <laughs> Question seven. Five clues. This soap was created by Alan Bateman. It was first aired in 1988. It originally focused on the Fletcher family. And it. On the way. Yeah. Fictional setting is summer day. Question eight. Which 1940 John Ford film stars Jane Darwell? Sam. It's not stage no. Nope. Tony. Nope. How green is my valley? Nope. It's 41, isn't it? No, that's not what I meant. Andy. Andy. Searchers. No, it's not finished, though, the question. Mac P. Searchers is him. This time it's personal. Just wait, just wait for it to finish, if you can. Uh, Jane Darwell as Ma Joad oh, no. and Henry Fonda as Tom Joad, yeah, yeah. travelling to Dave Canada. Bill! Grapes and Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you say wait for it to finish? They were going, I can't, I can't yeah, rest on Ma Joad. People jumped in. I think Jane Darwell might have been the Green. Question well. nine. And then there were none, 1946. Tony! No. It's, uh, it's Agatha Christie. No! no. <laughs> too early, too early. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. By Renny Clare, Johnny Swade, 1991, by Tom DiCillo, and Right Now, Wrong Then, 2015, by Hong Sang Soo, are winning <laughs> films of which European film prize? For... Fat Marky. No. Uh, we've not finished the question yet, I don't think, have we? No, not finished it. Yes. It's one of those. Wrong. McP. Uh... Oh. Sam. Golden Nope. Ashton, we're not finished yet. Golden Bear. No. That's where you look Golden Light. Carry on. Finished. Our winning films of which European Film Prize first awarded in 1946 at the Locarno International Film Festival. Andy. Montreux. Don't. Lucky. And uh, Andy uh, Lee. Golden Bull. <laughs> no. Simon. Golden Marmot. No. <laughs> Dave Bill. Golden Rose. No! <laughs> Who's next? Oh, is that it? That's it. Go on, someone tell them. I don't know, I thought right. Golden Rose as well, but that was no, the, the Swiss one. Someone must know the Swiss one. The Golden... Yeah, the Zurich. The, the, the Golden Leopard. The Golden Leopard. The Golden Leopard. Oh, she spotted that. Carry on. Yeah. Carry on. Yeah. Yeah. I said she's Golden Leopard. Golden Rose. Right. So question, question, question 10. Which 2017 film starred Sam Humphrey as Tom Thumb? Rebecca Ferguson as Jenny Lind. Andy. Great showman. Yes. Great. Yeah, great answer. Musical. And P.T. Barnum, Hugh Jackman. Right. Oh, Eleven. Nice. Built in 1913, in which city is the Winter Garden? Seven. Whoa, Fat Marky. Everyone's jumped in. Big yeah. one. Well, Deck off then with your swerves. <laughs> not a swerve. I said Winter Garden, not Garden. It's a trip, not a swerve. Uh, where are you, Fat? There you go. I'm at bottom, that's where I am. Curtis. 
Oh, sorry, I thought I was correct. Is it? Um, right, is it what did you say? Yes. So I thought the last one was correct. Right. Simon. We'll go with Berlin. Nope. S Sam. Stafford. Nope. Lee. Barmouth. Nope. Debsy's doing really well, Tony. San Francisco. No. He's won there. Carry on. Seven stories above the Elgin, the world and Canada's last operating double-decker theatre. We want a city in Canada. Fraser. Toronto. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Question 12, five clues. I'm looking for an actress born in New York in 1949. She is one of the many actresses in the Harry Potter franchise. She is married to the lesser known actor, Gorn Granger, who is 80 years old, 12 years her senior. She is the daughter of a famous director. Fraser. So we want to make Yep. Who is known for her role as Susan Harper in my time? Fraser's in the lead on six. Whee! <laughs> Question 13. That's one by seven. Right, yeah. James Stewart plays the title character named Rand Stoddard in which 1962 film? Sam. Man who shot the Oh, good, good answer. answer. It was directed by? John Ford. John Ford and starred yeah. John, John Wayne and Lee yeah. Marvin. I've seen that so many times but I didn't know his name. Know was Question his name. 14. Which actor came out of his comfort zone when he played the cruel Mississippi plantation owner Calvin Candy in Django Unchained? Andy. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yep. Yeah. Slow to press and slow to answer, but two points. Fifteen. <laughs> Come on, you all know you were slow there. They were slow, weren't they? Complete the lineup of this classic 70s TV series. John Ritter, who plays Jack Tripper. Joyce DeWitt, who plays Janet Wood. And which actress, who plays Chrissy Snow in Freeze Company? McPay. One, yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Just can't be too late, Can somebody give me some background on that? Because I've never it was heard of it. The man about the house. He was. Yeah. Was the, yeah. the man about the house. Yeah. I knew John Mitchell was in this. Mm. Yeah, Question sixteen: Which animal links films based on the works of Horace McCoy, Nicholas Evans, and Michael Morpurgo? They Bill. Horse. Go on. What are the films? The War Horse is the last one. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, really? Really? No, that's fuck, fuck the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Nicholas <laughs> Evans is the horse whisperer. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Horace McCoy, they shoot horses. Don't really? they? That's it. Yeah. I knew the name was familiar. Jason Kerr, Jason Kerr. Here we go. Let's go. go. No, my yeah. fastest thing, sir. Yeah. Horse films yeah. is my fastest thing. Couple great albums, well, Jason Kerr's. Question seventeen. Now say Chatelon. What would France with us? Is the opening line spoken by which Shakespearean king, also the title character? Simon! Henry V. No, Andy. I didn't either. Bit. Dave Bill. Henry IV. Ashton. Uh, Henry VI. Have you finished the match? Fat Marcus. Henry VIII. McPhee. Uh, I didn't either. I'm just going to guess. Tony! It comes to me. Richard II. No. Fraser. Leah. No. Sam. Cymbeline. No, Curtis. John. Yeah? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I thought people heard that, no. Now say Chatelon. What would France with us? Alright, yo. Best visual round. Question 80. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing its title with a hit single by the band Splodge and Essa Bounds. Dave Bill. Two parts of live and a pack of crisps. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Uh, yeah, you, you were fifth of the second in front of everybody else, so there you go. The Archer probably run con. And uh, Dave right. Bill zooms to the top of the leaderboard. Okay. Should be alright, mate. Maybe, maybe so. I'm always in the side bit. I'm always in the side bit. I know. Simon Templer. Simon Templer. Mm. Question 19. How come Chief Willoughby? And still no arrests? And. Sam. Three billboards outside Evan, Missouri. Yep. <laughs> oh, what a great answer. What? Are the three senses Mildred Hayes advertising in which 2017 film? Apparently, he wrote that as well. I was on Quizly East last week as well. Was it? The How Come Chief Willoughby. Was it? On the board. Yeah, right. Oh, I never seen it. Good. It's a great yes. film, watch it if you can. Go! Question 20. Better known for his poetry, The Cocktail Party, 1950. Tell it. Yes, Yeah. It's too good. As the leaderboard, Dave Bill wins that by eight, Fraser Lee second on the six, and Andy Kelly and Tony Wong with five points. Give him a little round of applause. Moving that as quick as we can. Right, current. Current incorporating froth. 
News, celebrity, fashion, crime, business, and law. Right. History. Right, so Katoe, that is K-A-T-H-O-E-Y, or Katoe, K-A-T-O-E-Y, are transgender women or feminine gay guys in which Asian country? Is that Mark Gay? Thailand. Yeah. You know you're quick on that. I don't know about that. You're in the lead. Question... No. Right, my Strasser. Question two. Tumble Brutus is a character from the musical Cats. Which English comedian shares his name with the alternative name for this character? Andy. Bill Bailey. Yeah. Walk you Good Come home, Bill Bailey. Come on. Come Literally translated into English as Royal Aviation slash Airline Company. Which European airline was founded in 1919? Curtis. Yeah. Connick. I, don't, I can't say. Mm. Can it collide? Yeah, current questions is. 1919. No, no, it's a bit of everything. It's a bit of everything. <laughs> business, etc. Right. Question four. Business the, cops into this, yeah. The fashion designer Issy Miyaki is a survivor of which major devastation? Tell me. It's Hiroshima. Yeah. Survivor of Hiroshima. Mm. Question five. Five clues. The original name for this company was Moltex. This clothing company was founded by Renzo Rosso in Molvena, Italy in 1978. The perfume, Only the Brave, is shaped like a fist. The luxury fragrance line is owned by L'Oreal. It shares its name with a famous engine. Fraser. Diesel. Yeah. No. Question six. Now with a court order permanently protecting the identity of a convict named after her, which young girl, then aged ten, strangled two boys in... Curtis. Miranda. There's a point. McP. Mary Bell. Mary Bell. Your neck of the woods, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Strangled your neck of the woods. It's Geordie. It's Geordie. It's Geordie. Scotswood. <laughs> In a pro. Uh, Geordie land, nothing to do with us. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't Yorkshire, was it? Question, no. <laughs> <laughs> question seven. Which newspaper features that comic strip creation of Harry Venning that on Radio 4 stars Sally Phillips as Claire in the community? Ashton. Guardian. Yeah, spell it. Sorry? <laughs> Guardian. <Gra> <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Question eight. Which feminist movement gained momentum when Harvey Weinstein was accused of sexual mis- Andy! Me too. Yeah. And me. Hashtag. Me too. Question nine. In which state did 26-year-old Devin Patrick Kelly of nearby- Oh, it's Lee. Oh, probably wrong here. Nevada. Uh, no yes, we saw where you're coming from, but it wasn't him. No. Tony. Um, California. This point. 48 to go. Nearby New Bronfels killed 26 and injured 20 others on November the 5th, 2017 in a mass shooting at the first... Oh, we've got Dave Bell. Virginia. No, there's a point. In a mass shooting at the first Baptist church in Sutherland Springs. Oh, I remember it. Oh, I remember it. Yeah. Ashton. Texas. Yeah, yeah was in Texas. Was that in Kingsman? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, what Five clues. This musician was born in Scotland in 1953. <laughs> he was a rhythm guitarist. His group was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2003. He has a famous brother. He was a... Tony. Oh, no. No, wrong one. Tony. Um, no. Uh, ACDC. Ashton. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've got from Malcolm, yeah. <laughs> Question 11. First established in 1946, Tokyo Tsushin, that's T S U S H I N, Kogyo, was a, <laughs> was a radio repair shop who made Japan's first transistor radio in 1955 and transistor television in 1960. In 1958, they changed their name to which pop. Andy! Sony. Yeah. You all want to press. Right, 12. Be aware, you will lose a point if you are more than a year out on this. In which year was PayPal acquired by eBay for $1.5 million? Oof. This is what happens when you nobody bets, is it? There you go. Uh, but... Is that it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just what year? Move on, was PayPal acquired by... eBay. Move on. 2005? So and basically, if, if, what we're saying is you only lose if you're more than a year out. If you're a year out, you don't lose now. Okay, basically, yeah. this is what he said. So is he losing a point? 
Yeah. I'm not he's saying. Not, I'm, I'm not saying. Oh, just move Fraser, on. Fraser, Fraser, Andy. Two thousand and nine. Wrong. Anybody else want to guess? Yeah. Lee. Two thousand twelve. Wrong. Guess. Wrong. I think that'd be wild. My guess. No one else wants to lose point now. It is two thousand and two. Yeah, I'd guess Fraser. And a lot of people would know that bang on. A lot of people would know that. Fraser, Andy, and who else? Who else got that one wrong? Lee. But he's really older than Born in Guildford in 1974, this journalist graduated from Oxford with a first in English. She works for the Independent and Financial Times and Washington Post. Since 2006, who has worked for Channel 4 News interviewing various people, including, most recently, Professor Jordan... Ashton. Newman? Yeah, Gabby Newman. Jordan Peterson, which has wrapped up more than 2 million... Should we know her? Yeah, you should. Yeah, she's, she's always on Channel 4. Question 15. I'm looking at someone. But I'm not going to look. <laughs> <laughs> Which actress, born in Blackpool in 1995, known for playing a part younger than her actual age, made her TV debut in 2015 in Coronation Street? Fraser. Lucy Fallon. Yeah. That, that wasn't the person I was looking at. Dave Bill, actually. I thought you might get that. Coronation Street. I thought you might know someone. She Beth Lisa. You know Blood. She won the NTA award for Best Actress as well. Coronation Street. And she's in Coronation Street. <laughs> go, go, go. Question 16. Currently ongoing, the laws for FOBT gaming machines in bookmakers state that the maximum spin could be reduced. Oh. Lee? Two pounds. Yeah. Yes. Reduced to two pounds. <laughs> Where do you even come across that? <coughs> Just it's from Beth Frederick, yeah. cool. yeah. Reset. Oh, thank you. Mm. Shall I have a score check? What's this, the most you can put in? At the top of the board, it's Ashton Davis on eight. Andy Kelly on five, Fraser Lee's on three, Matt Lake up with Patton on two, Chris Kitts on one, everybody else in the wake. Right, so your question 17. Bing Bing, Bong Bong, Bing Bing Bing. Part of the. Oh, not for it, I'm guessing. Part of the beauty of me is that I am very rich. I have a great relationship with the blacks. I have always had a great relationship with. Sam. Not Larry David in Kirkwood. No. <laughs> I like Larry David. That's who you did. 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 That's did you hear that, Sai? Can you can anybody cast any light onto it? I I what I was didn't program. Go go. No, 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 carry on. Two two. He's in a two two. Two two we are serious. Two two we are serious. He's not here to watch that. Carry on. Reset. <laughs> right. Question nineteen. Jazz Ellington and Liam Tamney, former contestants on The Voice, a Sander who appeared on Britain's Got Talent, Goldstone, a girl group, Raya, a singer and dancer, Dave Bill. Uh, are these the Eurovision hopeful? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And Sue Ree from the Royal Academy of Music. And Matt question... Laycock, you can go top. Nobody else can. Question, question 20. Quantum physicist Michelle Simmons was named which country's person of the year this year? Canada. Canada. Sam. New Zealand. Tony. Australia. Yeah. Shammy, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, at the end of that particular round, Ashton gets a little round of applause. Well done. If you're watching on YouTube, we'll be back next week with the last two rounds of science and geography, the two best rounds. If you thought the last six rounds were tough, wait till you see these ones. I've checked them. Give Mike a round of applause and give yourself a round of applause. Send my nuts back, please. Yes, you can.